Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got some more Black Ops 3 gameplay for you, and I wanted to talk about the perks in the game. I'm going to go ahead and redo the entire perk list. I'm going to tell you what every single perk does, how they interact with other perks, counter perks, and my personal takes on them. First of all, we have in the tier 1, which are the blue perks, arguably the most important ones, is Flak Jacket. It's the same as it has been in previous Call of Duty games. It reduces the damage that you take from explosives. It'll save you from one, maybe two grenades, but definitely not three. Blind Eye is coming back. It, it makes you immune to a dozen different AI kill streaks and a couple of different tracking uh, systems in the game. Ghost Returns. It's similar to how it was in Black Ops 2. Probably almost exactly the same as how it was in Black Ops 2. And I think that's a good thing because it was a great perk in Black Ops 2. It makes you. It keeps you off of the UAVs, but you have to be constantly moving. You can't have Ghost and just camp. You have to be constantly on the move for Ghost to work, which I think is a good thing. Blast Suppressor comes back, so to speak. It's not like it was in previous Black Ops games, but it was in Advanced Warfare and it was 100% essential in Advanced Warfare. And this one, it says it removes all minimap indicators for when you use your thruster pack, but I never really saw many, many, any, any minimap indicators to begin with. I don't really remember any now that I think about it, and I know for a fact, because I looked at other people's classes, that it's not like 100% of people were running Blast Suppressor. Most people didn't use it at all, so maybe it was a noise component, maybe the pings on the map are very subtle. I don't think this is going to be a crutch perk like it was in previous Call of Duty games. Definitely not a very powerful and might be more of a search and destroy type thing. On the exact opposite end of things, and still in the tier 1 perk list, we have Afterburner, which gives you a faster recharging thrust pack. That means more jumps, more frequently anyway, less time on the ground, more slides. And I found this one to be kind of the replacement to lightweight or extreme conditioning. So in Black Ops 3, you have unlimited sprint by default, and there's also no lightweight perk because that was kind of considered a crutch perk, so we took that one out. So this is the closest you're going to get to increasing your movement speed or rushing people. It just allows you to do a little bit more movement or a little bit more frequent movement, and it's one that I use somewhat frequently. Good perk. In Tier 2, we have Scavenger, which is the same as it was before, but it's more like old-school Scavenger. When you have Scavenger, it also refills grenades like tacticals and lethals. So this is one that I used a little bit more often than I did in previous now that it refills lethals, I used it to refill my, what was it, thermite grenades. Yeah, thermites are kind of like the new Molotovs. I used it to refill the thermite grenades and do a lot of work with that. Hardwired is back. It makes you immune to counter UAV. Power Core, which I truly do not know what Power Core is. I've never seen it before. It wasn't something in this build or game. EMP grenades, and it also gives a delayed reaction to claymores and mines, which I'll get to later, but there are claymores, and there's a mine that's very similar to a bouncing Betty. This makes those react on a delayed manner, so they just don't, they don't kill you as fast. It's really useful in that regard, too. Tracker is kind of an interesting one. It allows you to see a digital imprint of enemy footsteps. It shows you like the last maybe four or five seconds of where enemies have been, where they run on the map, you see these little yellow footsteps. It's absolutely useless in the chaotic modes we played, like uh, Hardpoint and Domination, but I think it's going to be a godsend in Search and Destroy. Cold-Blooded is kind of a counter perk to that. It reduces your imprints on the ground with Tracker and with Sixth Sense. Sixth Sense is a perk we're going to get to a little bit later, but it kind of reduces like the footsteps that you see. It's only like one or maybe two seconds instead of four or five, so so it's very effective at that, and also with Sixth Sense. Cold-Blooded makes you immune to thermal sights and any sort of ground AI. There are a couple of different ground AI-based killstreaks that so makes you immune to that. And lastly, in Tier 2, which these are green perks, by the way, there is Anti-Up. This is a new one. You start with more killstreak points. It kind of replaces Hardline. Hardline's not there anymore because that's moved into a specialist ability for Seraph, if I'm not mistaken. But with Anti-Up, you start with like plus 200 points towards your next killstreak which is nice. It allows you to kind of spam UAVs if that's your goal, but you have to die a lot to make it useful. Moving on to the red perks or tier 3, we're not exactly reinventing the wheel in perk 3 here. So we have Engineer, which is the same as it has always been. Dead Silence is back, same as always. Awareness, same as always. Tack Mask, same as before. And Gung Ho, same as before, but I didn't really find it to be super useful. I'd I don't know why. Maybe I'm just a gung-ho hater. I can't help it. But we do have one new perk in Tier 3, which is called Sixth Sense. It indicates the directions of nearby enemies in quadrants. So you kind of have like four quadrants. It like splits your mini-map into four quadrants. And if somebody is near to you and within a certain range, it'll indicate, it'll like make a red kind of triangle from your position back to the corners of the map and be like, hey, somebody's behind you. Hey, somebody's on the left or the right. It gives you like a little general area indicator so people can't sneak up on you. A little 
little bit useful if you're going for big streaks or if you're worried about getting flanked a lot, but definitely going to be more useful in something like TDM or Search and Destroy, not as much in more chaotic modes. But I did like it and I did run it on occasion. Guys, that's all for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful about the perks in Black Ops 3. And as always, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.